couple of months ago I decided to stop using a mouse while coding because it sucks and it's painful, creates pain here, your hand gets stuck like this. So I was like I'll just use a keyboard instead but from there things took a turn. I ordered 130 key switches to find the perfect keyboard and I also had to learn Vim in order to not use my mouse to navigate through the code. I'll show you what my setup looks like to achieve this. So with this setup I can navigate all my open files just from the keyboard which eliminates a lot of mouse interactions and I really like that. I have created this github repo for my VS Code Vim settings and I thought we should go through them because they're not super obvious what they actually do. But first of all, one key mapping that I changed in Visual Studio Code is to move lines up and down using Alt and K and J, which is the way that you move the cursor up and down in Vim, in navigation mode. All you have to do is go to Preferences, Keyboard Shortcuts, and here you have a list so you can change different commands. And these are the ones that I have changed to Alt J and Alt K. So that's the first thing I changed. And then let's go through the other custom settings I use. Inside the settings.json is where you can insert your Vim specific config. I have Vim to use the control keys. I also have Vim using the system clipboard. And that way, if I copy something in Vim, I can use it outside of VS Code. And also the other way around, that if I copy something anywhere, I can paste it the way I usually paste things in Vim. In insert mode, I've added a special command for escaping insert mode, which is typing JJ, which uh, eliminates the step to reach for the escape button and instead just double tap the J button where my fingers naturally are. In visual mode, the only thing I've changed is to add the ability to switch directly from the visual mode to the insert mode by pressing the I. And the last part of the config is just what uh, keyboard combinations that I don't want Vim to listen for. Control A which is select everything, Control F which is to search in VS Code, Control D to select the next occurrence of something in the file, and then it's just the copy, cut and paste. So Vim has a really steep learning curve in the beginning, but it will pay off in like one or two weeks I would say. I would suggest that you try out Vim and it's gonna become a really nice experience once you get past the first and steep part there. It's gonna be really frustrating in the beginning. Also, you might wanna try a mechanical keyboard if you haven't tried it because that will also enhance the experience. I think that's all about Vim. I would be happy to reply to Vim specific questions. Subscribe only if you like the content. That's all for this time. This is so bad.